Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and welcome back to Everyday Inspiration. So we did take a break in December, but we are back for January. Um, so this is a series that I do with Christy, Daisy, Dolly, Lisa, and Jen. And we take a picture from our everyday lives and use it as inspiration to make a layout. So um, today's inspiration piece comes from Jen. And this is probably her backyard. And it's very snowy. So the idea is to take something from that. So you could take anything. You could even just take the color white and have nothing to do with winter. But I am using up the rest of my November Kill Kit and this is all I have left. So I am going to use these scraps to make my layout. So as you can see that pink paper um, kind of looks like snowflakes and then um, this is our Christmas card from last year which you're probably thinking well wait a minute you look like you're at the ocean well we were at the ocean but we were in the ocean we were at the ocean in january and it was very cold so i figured that worked well for the theme as well as the perspective i'm going to use for part of my title that says bundle up so that is what i am pulling from the inspiration and these are my scraps and I am just going to layer them up um, not completely on the top um, but a little bit down and if you're probably looking at my tape runner and goes what's wrong with that well um, it kept getting stuck and so I just left the other side off so I could fix it as needed without putting it back on and off um, I think probably after that one is all done, I'm going to um, toss it. So, But I, I use up all the adhesive that I can. I don't let it go. So I'm going to use up these little scraps as well that I tore off from um, the big layers down below. And then I'm not going to back my photo because this year, well, this particular year, so last year, I was actually ahead enough that I could actually order Christmas cards that you could put stuff on the front or the back, not like the 24-hour ones that I get at Costco because I can order them, pick them up the next day at noon, and have them out the next day when I'm running behind. So I wanted you to be able to see the back um, because I did put some pictures on there as, as well as kind of like a little... Mm, summary of kind of what's going on and how our year was. So I would like to keep that. And I would like to do Christmas cards like that more often. Um, but I just don't ever seem to make it. Um, this year they actually got out on time and most people got them before Christmas. So that was a win. But other than that, not always um, the best at doing Christmas cards, other than at least I tried to get them out. So I do have just a few of these gold pieces left from the Thicker's Hey Santa, and I am going to use, I think, the rest of them. I think I get every last piece on. So it has Merry Christmas and Season's Greetings, and I don't really use season's greetings um, I or really happy holidays. I am definitely a Merry Christmas kind of girl. So, um, but I thought because it's a Christmas card, like a lot of the time Christmas cards have all kinds of um, different sayings. So I wanted to put those up, those on. And then I love the bundled up um, and I like how it stands out on the colored um, pattern papers. And as you can see, we all have sweatshirts and stuff on. So um, I do love how that looks. Now, I have one piece of ephemera. Mm, actually, I think I have one, two, three. I think I have like four. But one big piece. And it's this candy cane. And I was like, you know what? It's a Christmas card. We're going to go with it. I did like it overlapping 
the photo, but then I couldn't flip it up. So I don't know. And I have one chipboard, two chipboard piece. I have that wreath um, frame and then just some foliage. Um, I'm going to just probably pop those into my How to Kill a Kit with Style for um, January in that way. That is good. So I did have a, a couple of these die cut snowflakes and then I had this snowflake which was acetate um, and I'm not sure where that came from but um, it's there so obviously I am having some definite glue trouble because <laughs> now my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive is stuck so I need to um, add not add I need to stick a needle in it and clean it out so I can put that acetate down and then so now I have two pieces of black and they are the only two black pieces on this layout so as you can see over there in the right hand corner there's that little piece of black and white plaid and I am going to add that right under there to give it a little another black spot so as you can see this is a very diagonal layout um, starting in the left upper hand corner and going down to the right um, and I do love how it turns out it is similar to how I did my Christmas card for this year um, so you would have seen that on um, sketch Sunday but I'm okay with it I like how it looks um, they're in two separate albums. So now I'm going to finish it off um, with these classic holiday sequin mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps, which um, they might actually still be in the shop. So um, I may need to get some more because I'm just basically almost out of Christmas sequins. Um, and you can just never have enough, I don't think. So... Uh, these have big white ones and white stars as well as um, green and yellow and I am just popping it down with some Novo Deluxe adhesive and my Crystal Katana and if you need these or any other sequins you can use my code crystal15 to say 15% and if you want to use someone else's code like I don't know Christy or Daisy that are also playing along feel free to do that as well because um, they're amazing sequins and you need them and so of course why not use a coupon code if you can so um, if you have any questions please leave them down below this is going to pretty much do it for my layout I do have a couple of close-ups for you um, so mainly so you can see the beautiful sequins. And I have two Christmas cards done this month, so yay me. So there's a little quick one. Here is one close up as well as the bundled up, which love that perspective. And I'm not sure, I'm sure I said it was from Bramble Fox, but it is. So that's it. So remember to wear your crown and we will see you next month on the 15th for another Everyday Inspiration.